Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with part 34 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Twins. In the last part, um, it was like crazy. Esmeralda actually died. She steamed away in the steamer. The Grim Reaper didn't even come to see her because you know what? She doesn't even deserve it because she was such an awful Sim. So it was, it was a sad episode, but I think really most of us wanted to see her go. So she's gone and we are actually going to be moving the girls into their own townhouses which I have built um and we're going to take our cow plant with us so we might just he's not seeming too hungry at this stage um but what we're going to do is we're going to pack how do we actually pack the cow plant that's a good question how do we move a cow plant from house to house hmm would we put the cow plant in Maybe we have to pack all our furniture and it will come with us. I guess that's what we'll do or else I'm having a dirt moment. But don't worry, we're not going to leave or lose um, our gorgeous milkshake Colin cow plant. Uh, but I'm just checking around. Do we want to grab anything? Any memories? Uh, hmm. I don't think we really want anything from the bedroom. Really, I think it's just the tombstones that are the most important thing. Uh, I've already put a few familiar things in the girls' bedrooms, uh, so that's good. Probably don't want the sauna because that's creepy as. And... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the tombstones from down here. Uh, okay, so we've got... Uh, you know what? I'm going to put them in with Laurie. So we've got Lionel, Niles, Max. And then we may as well get Esmeralda in case we do want her to come back at some stage. Or if we want to release her to the Neverworld. Uh, excellent. And yeah, I don't know how to move Milkshake. I, I think if we just pack household furniture... I don't know how else to, um, that's my Chris. Ooh, what? We can milk? I didn't realize we could milk milkshake again. Ah, can't see. What is that? Essence of focus. Nice one. Uh, all right, and maybe we'll just feed, feed milkshake too. What are we feeding? What is that? It's like a parcel, parcel of meat, perhaps. Ew! Look at his drool. That's so gross. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay, well, I'm assuming that that's gonna work. Okay, well, let's move and see what happens. Uh, move household. Because I think it's time that we leave this house. It's got too many sad memories and I just don't think that it's really a nice place for everyone to be living. So I thought we'd kind of use this part as the part of the LP where we kind of start over new, a new chance at life. And, you know, maybe we'll give them some new looks. Uh, we'll go to Willow Creek and we're going to buy this house. Oopsies. Uh, let's evict them. Would you like to evict Carter? Yes. Keep furniture because we want to keep the cow plants and it's going to be so annoying to delete. And then we're going to buy this furnished. So we're going to have a ton of furniture. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. If you guys haven't watched these speed builds yet, I updated them a couple of days ago. So or over the two last days, actually. So you can go see Arya's townhouse build or Laurie's townhouse build, and they're actually on the same lot. So we're going to lock, probably how we'll do it is we'll lock some of the doors for only Arya and Laurie, and um, that should that should work quite nicely. First things first, uh, where do we want to put the epic cow plant? Uh, Put him in the office. Maybe out here because it's a little bit more private. We could get rid of the barbecue area and actually put milkshake over here. Uh, all right. So. Trying 
chocolate covered strawberry, yum. Uh, right, okay, so we have 35 snapdragons. Ooh, we have a death flower. The knife. Uh, where is the cat plant? Where are you, cat plant? Ooh, what's that? Mmm, chilly, but it's spoiled, so that's no good. Here we go! Oh, makes an excellent source of food, cuddles, and lifelong friendship. Become the envy of the neighborhood. Just remember to feed it. Yeah, uh. Yeah, uh. We need to make more room. Um, let's just go into here, and then we'll go back again. Oops. Sure. Okay, I'm derping out. Excuse me. Pardon me for being a derp. Okay, so uh, let's maybe... If we get rid of a couple of the chairs, we should be able to... Why is this? This is lagging like a mofo today. Come on. Come on. Okay. Milkshake should fit quite nicely over here. Oh, so cute. And excellent. Now everyone's happy. Oh, and the tombstones. Mm. What do you guys reckon? Should we put them, in, should we make a weird graveyard place? I, mean, I kind of want them to be completely separated from a weird, sad stuff. Oh, we could put them over here, I guess. Um, <laughs> just gravestones in a row because that's not weird at all. Can you guys comment down below what to do with these? Because I'm just not really, I'm just not really sure how to, how to de deal with it. Lionel, Niles, Esmeralda, Shamwow, and Max Lofton. Great. Well, isn't that cheerful? Cow can look at the people that he's eaten. All right, let's give it. Let's give a a bit of love. Why can't we do this? Collecting a sample from this vicious plant requires its udders to be full from being well fed. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Good to know. And you know what? What we will start doing is Thorn really needs a bit of social activity. So let's. Um, we could do some gardening actually, because really what we want to do with Thorn is we want to bring his little, little brother back. So, um, <laughs> zip, 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 zip. so I think we need to get his gardening skill up and his cooking skill up because we need him to eventually make the, the Ambrosia recipe, which will bring a Sim back to life. So that's pretty cool. What is this on the ground? Hmm. Strange. A little bit strange. Uh, I do want to just check my game settings. I'm pretty sure we changed them. Uh, lifespan. Okay, we're going to lengthen the lifespan. Just because the girls are adults and I feel like we haven't really gotten to play a lot of their lifespan properly. Balkroga. Spark Ursh. Okay, so 78 days each. So we can still say they're young adults, but they're, you know, adults. And Thorn has plenty of time as a teen, uh, which is really good. Alrighty, so his social's up. He's going to have a snooze. And once he's had a little snoozle, we definitely want him to, to work on... Uh, work on his skill level. By the way, oh my goodness, I totally forgot to do the house tour. Uh, oh my god, I thought that was Esmeralda. That would have been terrible. So basically, these are the two townhouses. So Arya's is this longer one, and then Laurie's is this smaller one. Uh, because I think Arya's probably going to have Thorn living in here. And um, I just feel like she's more likely to start a family more quickly, perhaps. Uh, oh, Bella Goth's leaving. We'll say hi to her another time. But yeah, basically Arya's house is characterized by really bright lights, uh, beautiful kind of almost homely glam, beach glam uh, aesthetics. So 
She's got this nice kitchen for entertaining. We've got an office back here. We've got a main bathroom. And then we've, we skip upstairs. It's a lovely chandelier coming down. We've got some gym equipment because she's going to get fit. This is Max's bedroom and her big master suite is in here. So hopefully we'll get a boy to move in soon. Laurie's house, on the other hand, you've probably realized is quite dark. It's, um, yeah, very dark. And there's the piano from the old house in the corner here. And then we've got lounge room, office area back here, hidden or hedged off garden. Uh, but the houses are similar because they're built on the same block, but slightly different. And um, this is her crazy purple bedroom, which I was very excited by. I think a lot of you guys actually enjoyed that as well. So that was nice. Anyways, Fawn, this is not your bed. This is not your bed. Uh, we need to really teach you where you're meant to sleep. Is he going to go mourn? Mourn Esmeralda? Well, I guess it is his mother, but don't mourn her. I guess we're not wanted here. What? We didn't even say hello to you. Like, calm your farm. Don't take it to heart so easily. Okay, sleep in there. Oh, actually, you know what? His energy's up enough. Let's, oh, should we read? Should we get cooking books or practice cooking? You know what? Let's just start cooking. Let us cook some beautiful scrambled eggs, party size. How's Laurie going? She's pretty good. Now, the thing with Laurie is she was seeing Bryce, flirting up a storm with Bryce, um, which is Esmeralda's other son who was meant to seduce her as part of Esmeralda's plan, but he actually fell in love with Laurie. So yeah, um, she could get with him. Oh, there's Grimm. We could get with Grimm. Or oh, there's her ex, James Holland, whom... It's very, very much unromantic right now. So that would take a lot of effort to get them back to square one. So I don't know. Do we want to get with Bryce or Grimm? That is the question. I'd like to see. I'd just like to be with Grimm for the novelty of being with Grimm. And I think Grimm would love having having this cow plant. Then we could have a baby Grimm. I right, brought home $396. Ugh. I love seeing Esmeralda grayed out. It makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. Guess who's coming back. <sighs> All right, Laurie. Invite in. We'll, we'll say hey. Uh, poor Arya is just, you just need a. Oh good. At least she knows which house is hers. <laughs> Ew, that's a koi. Just get him to cook more stuff. Cook a cake after that, please. Let's see how these two are going to go together, meeting again. Ooh, she doesn't look very happy to see him. It must be hard because she... It'd bring back a lot of negative memories. Did he just walk in or was that Thorn? She looks so angry. It's like, how are you? Come in. <laughs> Give the cold shoulder. <gasps> Look who it is! It's Eric! Love Eric. Uh, meanwhile, how is our relationship with Eric? It's okay. It's in the, in the small green. But I think Eric has always been a favorite for Arya. Um, she really needs to, I just don't, I just don't think right now is a good time for her to have a visitor. I'd rather her just go to sleep and get some rest. Sorry, Eric. <laughs> oh, we should probably invite him in, in any case, but all right, let's, um, let's just hang out, just hang out. Just chill for the first time in a long time. But I think what I do want to do is maybe give them a makeover in this uh, part of the LP. Or maybe I'll do a separate makeover video. Because I know some of you guys like to watch it. And I'll probably take so long to make decisions. Mm, but I kind of want to do their hair right now. I loved Laurie having short hair. I thought that was really cool. 
Muska and Treeb. And I think Arya should have the plaited or braided hair to the back. Aw, Eric, he's so sweet. He's like the nice positive energy that's going to come into um, Arya's life. Oh, gosh, we've got visitors coming out of our ears, I guess, because um, new neighbors. This is my sim that I made. She's so glamorous. She has the best sims body ever. Check it out, girl. This was with uh, when the new, like, that party stuff pack came out, the glamorous party stuff pack, and I was just making a kind of Bollywood-themed family. She was pretty cool. At least I thought, anyways. Back to the LP. So maybe... Oh, that's awkward. That was an awkward conversation. Ooh, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really awkward for you, Laurie. Take a seat, Eric. Oh my gosh, this is not going well. Maybe we should end up with Grim. Oh, it's your friend, Laurie. Well, actually, Arya's friend. Oh, she's off to work. Oh, okay. Well, let's just finish off this part with uh, redoing their hair. I think that we can, we can definitely do that. Uh, let's see. All right, if we just get Arya up quickly, change appearance. We'll just change their hairstyle and then um, I'll hopefully change all of their outfits either off camera or if you guys want to see it, I'll record it as well. Um, but it just, knowing me, it takes a long time to uh, pick everything. Okay, so we could go fringe for Arya. It does suit her, the fringe, actually. I think that's quite pretty. Uh, I've got the big hair, but I was thinking this. I thought that was really nice. Uh, or we could, nah. Mm. That's cute, but we're using that in the Barbie LP. That's not okay for Ari. I don't think it just makes her, it's just not very flattering on her. Oh, there's the plaited short hair. I'm, I'm thinking this or the braided to the side. I think. Mm, that's what I'm feeling anyways. I'm kind of liking the fringe though. Did she... Did we have that hairstyle originally? I can't recall. I'm going to go with the fringe. Uh, I just think Arya looks very nice with a fringe. And then for Laurie, we might... Laurie, we might go with. Laurie's the one that we can experiment with more. And I feel like so many of you guys would have all different ideas. I mean, she looks pretty cool with just a ponytail, to be honest. Do you like that? That's pretty cool. It's pretty badass. We've done the short hair before. Uh, or she could have the braid. Bring her more hippie side out. That looks pretty good in black. It looks less exaggerated. No, not that. It's kind of cool. Could have it braided to the side. I feel like this one's just a bit wide at the top. It just becomes a little bit mum. There's this one, which is pretty cool. I don't know, I didn't mind the black ponytail uh, for a change. I think, I just wish I could live stream. My internet's not good enough to live stream because then I could just ask you guys right now and then you guys could help me pick and it would be perfect. But that's okay. Yeah, I don't mind actually the side braid or... The ponytail. Let's go the ponytail because I think I've, I'm feeling that most right now. And then maybe some of her hairstyles could also be, depending on her outfit, she could go with the side braid or this. That's probably not long long enough though. I always try and get my uh, each of the hairs to suit each other. Like those two look like they go together. So maybe we'll go with those. 
She's just glamming it up a bit and we'll redo their outfits too. Where's that other hair gone? Oh, actually, a few of you guys were saying you'd like to see them with their red hair again. Because uh, originally, at the beginning of this LP, they did have red hair. So we could actually make Laurie's hair red. <gasps> I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I hope you guys like this idea because I'm kind of obsessing over it. Because Laurie, Laurie is a bit evil, but she's good evil. I'm really into red hair at the moment, actually. In my other LP, I made Desiree of redheads, so that's pretty crazy. Um, awesome. So she's got, like, flaming red hair. And Arya's hair, we could return it to its original color, too. But I feel like we might just keep hers as is. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll keep it as is. All right, guys. Well, um, anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you want to happen next, if you're happy with the homes. And I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're around the world. I'll speak to you soon.